Oh, gentlemen, we are still discussing the all important matter that regards, of course, the political developments in the country. And uh, this, of course, pertains uh, what we have seen uh, ever since the coming together of uh, the president and the opposition chief, Raila Odinga, in uh, March 2018. And ever since that, all hasn't been well and smooth in your party because you belong to that party. Uh, to just to be specific to you, Henry Shitanda, the president of Bungela Wananchi, because you hear a lot from the people down yeah. at the grassroots level. The president and the deputy president, William Ruto, incredibly and hastily formed the ruling Jubilee Party in September 2016, yes. flamboyantly so rosy that it will, it will uh, rule the country until 2032. Yes. And uh, afterwards, we have seen the expression of political bromance between, be, between the two gentlemen. Yes. And it appears that Raila Odinga, by coming on board, has realized what's fundamentally the weak fundamental point of the ruling Jubilee Party and is pressing the right buttons. To what extent will he cause consequences in the ruling <coughs> Jubilee Party and will that consequence be the complete disintegration of the ruling Jubilee Party? And I, just uh, to talk onto that, is uh -huh. it Raila who's separating the people of Jubilee or is it Deputy President Dr. William Ruto himself according to an article that has you know been expounded right here on one of the dailies that actually it's Ruto who's doing this and you know blaming it for <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, <coughs> Linda and uh, Ayub. You know, in 2017, William Ruto and President Uru Kenyatta formed Jubilee Party. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of forming Jubilee Party is to make the government. After elections, they won. After winning that election, the country was moving forward. But the president said, it is better we work with all people who are, uh, who are our competitors also. So he invited Raila Odinga to join the government so that uh, we can move from politics of throwing stones in the streets into the politics of development. Now, after joining the government, Raila Odinga, the way he did to Kanu, now he bring those games in Jubilee. And are you fearing that? And for us as members of Jubilee, we are not fearing Raila Odinga. Who invited in, him? In fact, Members we, who invited him, just to be clear <coughs> on that. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Mm. Now, Jubilee party, we are intact. The people who have formed Tim Kieleweke, these are people who lost election. These are people who are nominated in parliament. These are people whom they don't have any agenda about the country. Now they are being used by former prime minister to stabilize Jubilee. But the Jubilee party is intact. We are now concentrating on the issues of development of this country. And if they will continue stabilizing our party, we want to assure them, instead of referendum, We'll go for a new election in this country before 2022. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, to what right. extent uh, then uh, that, uh, that's likely going to be having uh, political damage, isn't yes. it? <laughs> a, a case of perhaps a double tragedy for the, for the mm -hmm. country. So uh, we see the way forward how it will work out. But uh, Karobia, seeking your sentiments here, and in particular, what we have seen developing in the country, the major causes here is perhaps to point out what David Murada did uh, echo before his resignation from the ruling party, saying that his position is no longer tenable. And he maintained that a week ago that there will be a new lineup political in this country. He never ruled out two issues, complete disintegration of the ruling Jubilee party or the formation of another party to stop the deputy president, William Ruto, because that is his main political agenda as we speak now. Then we have the impeachment plan by the ODM party. Members of your party claim that it was a plan by Odinga through a proxy person who is now Orengo to see off the DP from his current position through a parliamentary impeachment process. However, looking at the now developments in sequence and the way I just pointed out, does, to be honest, does it point to perhaps a, a failed political process in this country? On one end, we have an invaluable opposition. And on one hand, we have a literally a dysfunctional ruling Jubilee party that is completely going wayward. I think I, uh, you're misinformed on the issue of Jubilee Party. Jubilee Party is intact. Jubilee Party knows its, uh, its direction. Jubilee Party 
uh, knows what it wants. Okay, and, uh, can, can, can to, to, to be specific, because uh, we, we have to be fair enough politically yeah. in this country, yeah. and we seek answers here and clarity, yeah. is that uh, if you go to hospital, yeah. you will not self-diagnose yourself. Yes. You need to go through a process. The doctor and then uh, ensures that uh, you get the right medication through the prescribed process. Murkomen, the majority leader in the Senate, a close confidant of the DP, says there are people at the office of the presidency out to scuttle DP William Ruto's chances. You have Murade who echoes that. You have Raleigh who comes on board, says that uh, there's something wrong with the DP William Ruto. And then Joho says that we have been instructed to only attack the Deputy President William Ruto. There's some sense of selective political amnesia that you can't rule out the ruling Jubilee Party is completely heading wayward. Let, let me say this, and I want to allude to what the Deputy President said this week in an interview. Uh, on the state of the nation. Let me, uh, the, the Jubilee party, it has two functions. I, 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 I don't want to disagree on that. Mm -hmm. But the majority in the party are for the, the, the deputy yeah. president. And that's why you see, uh, in each and every political rally that he goes, during the week or the weekend, uh, he has almost 10 MPs accompanying him. That tells you, there is a considerable majority within the party who believe in who believe in party discipline, but there is a five percent that is led by one nominated MP and also another uh, MP who has a history of associating with Raila Odinga. So we can't, as members, we can't take such a person seriously minor, when he is giving us a, a political direction. Maina, let's just say that uh, this kind of you know, support that you're talking Sorry. about uh, trickles down to the common Munainchi, yes? yes? yes. And uh, when we see such differences cropping up, you yes. know, on public podiums, then it instills some level of worry in mm. us, you know? Uh, looking at the question on graft, uh, it clearly tells you that we might not be able to be successful in the fight against graft. Yes. When we see that, yes, this is a party that we are so much dependent on uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, graft is fought, we get unity in the country, you know, we have development in the country. Yet there are factions, yet there are differences. And this seems to be democratic factions, clearly, you know, from what we are saying. And they become something else that is toxic to us. So what does it mean then? And or where does it place us as a common one inch? Because when you're talking about the kind of support that Deputy President William Ruto enjoys, it's pretty much, uh, you know, evident. And even if it's not, uh, you know, a majority, then you can clearly tell that, uh, you know, the powerful figures are the ones who are actually in support of him, you know, in the different houses. We have seen the withdrawal of security, bringing a lot of issues over the weekend. What does it mean when you clearly see, uh, see such occurrences? Then it's a clear indication that there is probably a battle meted against these people who are supporting the Deputy President William Ruto. Or better yet, if we are to go with what the police boss has said or the police spokesman, you know, Charles Owino had to say, that probably this is just uh, reforms that are normally done within the security setup. And as a matter of fact, it's not a guarantee that they're supposed to be awarded the security as uh, per what is enshrined in the Constitution or what is enshrined in the law. You, you see, we are having issues in this country. And when we are trying to solve these issues, if we mix politics, we never move ahead. The, the case of graft or corruption, mm -hmm. we have seen, and even the president clearly and respectively said in parliament during the State of Nation address, that if we want to deal with corruption, the, 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 the mandated institutions should take the right channel, mm -hmm. not vigilante justice. They should be serious with the, with, the, with, the, with the corruption cases. They should not take these corruption issues to the court of public opinion, but the court of law. Secondly, the withdrawal of security, uh, security detail as a way of undermining the deputy president. Uh, uh, this is a medieval tactic of trying to settle political scores. You know, in, that in, in the 13th in the century, English kings used to intimidate the barons mm -hmm by withdrawing uh, some of the soldiers that have been attached to them. Mm. So somebody within the system trying to undermine the DP by withdrawing uh, the, the security uh, detail attached to, uh, to his allies is retrogressive and he doesn't know, uh, he, he, he won't be successful in that. Mm. The best way to settle political scores is you settle them based on issues, not using the system <coughs> or state uh, state weapons or tools of security mm -hmm. uh, to intimidate uh, a, a, a politician. Mm -hmm. Secondly, when you in engage security apparatus in political affairs, that is like 
dancing to, to fire. Because, so, so, uh -huh. because now here, when, uh, when you, like you say, you ably said that uh, our politics are uh, tribal. Tribe, yeah, that's basically what I wanted you to react to. And you see, based on the utterances of uh, Moses Kuria himself saying that it was a bad thing to have lost uh, yeah, DNA. Yeah, so w when, you engage, when you engage security personnel in political affairs, mm. now that threatens even the... The, 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 the national the, the national security mm -hmm. because there are people within that security detail or the, that security docket mm -hmm. that are aligned to the DP himself. Yeah. So that tells you these people might even diso uh, disobey the orders of these commanders, and that tells you we'll invite anarchy in our country. Okay, so. Yeah.